What up, fam? Welcome to Skill Tree, where we learn how to do just about everything. Today, we're starting on a request from one of my subscribers, or as I like to call them, the Skill Monkeys. <laughs> Skill Monkey Elwindell commented, you should try learning how to blacksmith. Perhaps try making a knife or an ax. Okay, so I am incredibly stoked, pun intended, to try this out. Alas, I do find myself without a really important blacksmithing tool, a forge. So I have no way to heat the metal, to hammer the metal, to make something out of the metal. Yeah. So let's call this part one of fulfilling this request, and we're going to make ourselves a super simple coal forge. So get ready to channel your inner Hephaestus, and let's level up this skill. Step one, gathering materials. So this forge is going to consist of two main parts. The fire pot, where all the fire happens, and the two year, or the air piping, where all the air happens. It'll make more sense as we go, I promise. For the fire pot portion of this, I needed sand, clay, and a small grill I bought from Lowe's. The air portion is made up of a hair dryer and various pipes and fittings, all of which are listed in the description below. Really quick, I spent like five hours in Lowe's trying all these different ideas because there's a lot of different ways to make this online. Um, eventually, they just walked up to me and were like, are you okay? Do you need help? It didn't help that all of like the fire brick and stuff was at one end of the store and all of the plumbing fittings and stuff were at the complete other end of the store. I got my steps in that day. So many steps. Speaking of steps, step two, attaching the two air. So a forge needs a constant flow of air to keep those coals burning real hot. And as mentioned before, the piping that supplies that air is called the two air. I learned something new. No idea that had a specific name, like the air pipe. Anyways, to prep the grill to accept our two air, I first place the black floor flange inside and mark off the location of the holes. Then I drilled them out with a metal bit. First, you want to start with a smaller bit and work your way up to the larger size. In this case, the larger size with a 3 8 It's going to make the whole process easier because if you try to start off with a bigger bit, odds are it's going to walk all across and it's going to be hard to actually get it to stay in one place as you drill. Now, line up the flange with the hole again and mark off the circle in the middle. We're going to use this as a guide to drill out a screen. This will help get the air inside without letting our fuel fall into the pipe. Now, flip that sucker over and attach the flange to the bottom with your nuts, bolts, and washers. Then make sure everything's nice and tight. Finally, attach your nipple. Nipple. <laughs> followed by the 90 and your pipe length to complete the two year setup. You're gonna wanna make sure you only hand tighten these cause you're probably gonna take them off at some point to clear out any ash or anything that falls inside. Before you more experienced people mention this in the comment section, I know if instead of putting a 90, you put a T, you can just make a little clean nut at the bottom for the ash to fall through. I actually didn't have enough clearance under it because it's such a small little grill. Um, but eventually, if I mount that sucker to a table, I'll probably make that change. Just so you know, if you use a T instead of a 90, you can just unscrew it and let the ash fall out that way if you'd like to. Step three, claying the forge. Okay, so seeing as the function of a forge is to get metal super hot and my forge is made out of metal, I'm gonna need something to protect it a little bit. That's where the sand and clay come in. Now I got a block of natural clay from the craft store, but you could really just dig this out of the ground in most areas. And as for the sand, if you live near a beach, cool. If not, every hardware store sells a bag of play sand. You want to mix the clay with the sand in roughly a 50-50 mix. But honestly, I was just kind of winging it here. At the end of the day, you want it to just be able to form into a ball, but easily crumble apart. Now grab your little grill forge, place something over your air holes to keep them open, and start loading the clay mixture in. Make sure you press it in firmly and evenly throughout the fire pot. Then smooth the whole thing down. I found that whole process to be strangely relaxing. Anyways, when you're done, it should look something like this. Okay, so for this clay mixture to harden, we're gonna need to set a little fire in there. But first, step four, attaching the bellows. All right, so our bellows aren't really bellows, it's just a hair dryer. but I wanted to use the word, so bellows. Now most hair dryers have that little button so it only blows cold air. You're gonna to wanna to find a way to keep that button activated so that the hair dryer doesn't overheat while you're forging. To get this done, I just opened the dryer up, found the button, and removed the spring that disengaged it. That's pretty simple, but I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could just duct tape that little button down and it'll do the same thing. Now to connect the dryer to the tier, I cut a hole out of this two inch rubber quick cap, 
just large enough for the dryer to fit. Then I screwed on this one and a half by one and a quarter inch PVC fitting that just happened to fit in the black pipe. So hopefully that saves you a little bit of work finding all those fittings because it took me forever just to marry things together and see what fit. Finally, I slipped the dryer assembly over the PVC and just tightened everything down. Honestly, you probably could have just duct taped the dryer to the two year and called it a day. I just like the way this looks better because it looks better. Check that out. It looks awesome. And as you can see with the addition of some leaves here, totally works. Step five, fire the forge. So this part's pretty simple. You just make a little campfire inside of the forge and let it burn itself out. The whole point of this step is to slowly and evenly start to dry the clay so it doesn't like crack and get brittle. Once that's done, we're gonna light a new hotter fire on the ashes of the old fire. This time, turn your blower on and get that bad boy hot. This is gonna harden that clay and sand into a nice tough shell. Now, don't worry if you do see any cracks appear in this because it's clay and sand. Just make some more and fill the cracks up with it and light a fire. Easy. And that's it, we've created a forge. Check this little bastard out. I'm honestly very impressed with how hot this bad boy gets. This project is super easy and really enjoyable which is not something I say for most of my projects that end in a blazing inferno. So again, thank you, Elwindell, for your suggestion, and uh, keep your eye open for part two, where I use this little sucker to actually make a knife. So if any of you have a skill you'd like me to cover, please leave it down in the comment section, and I will add it to the list. Also, help me forge my channel into something mighty by hammering that thumbs up button and slamming on that subscribe. Anyway. I better start swinging the sucker around. I have a knife to forge. In the meantime, keep leveling up, you.